It sounds made up, but a mini moon is a very real space phenomenon. It happens when an asteroid gets caught in Earth's gravitational pull, then temporarily starts orbiting our planet. But one object entering our orbit later this year is raising the eyebrows of astronomers, because as Mike Drolet explains, it doesn't look like an asteroid. The mighty Centaur is on its pad at Cape Canaveral. For NASA fired a lot of Centaur rockets into the atmosphere in the 1960s. Malfunction. They didn't all work out. But that was the trial and error part of the space race. In 1966, a Centaur rocket carrying the Surveyor 2 spaceship malfunctioned close to the moon. Part of it crashed, but the Centaur spun off into space, never to be seen again. I mean, you know, we were very, um, shall I say, flippant in the 60s with respect to the uh, the upper stages of vehicles. We, we launched lots of vehicles to the moon during the 60s. We launched lots off to Mars and to Venus, and we really didn't care what happened to the upper stages. Fast forward to the present, and astronomers have found an object deep in space they named 2020 SO. In December, it will temporarily get caught in Earth's gravity and orbit the planet, becoming what's known as a mini-moon except it might not be an asteroid. I think, you know, what's piqued people's interest and, and definitely my interest is, you know, the possibility that this might be, you know, a human made object that was launched. They did the math, lots of math, and concluded it was going far too slow to be an asteroid. So they did more math and determined not only that it was the same size as the Centaur rocket, but that it was on the same trajectory as the one they lost in 1966. In recent years, we've seen some amazing images of asteroids, like this one in 2013 that lit up the Russian sky, as well as oddly shaped objects like Oumuamua that some believe was an alien spacecraft. And of course, Elon Musk added his own oddity when he launched a Tesla into space. And maybe that will become a mini moon in the future, who knows? It's that unknown that continues to intrigue us. And come December, hopefully we get a clearer picture of our temporary mini moon, man-made or not. Mike Drillet, Global News, Toronto.